Hey guys, welcome back. So all of you know that you can do monitoring on your Zabbix, right? You can collect the data, have triggers, dashboards, alarms, whatever. But did you know that you can actually play a uh, Tetris game as well in a dashboard as a custom made widget available for free without any strings attached and without any risk so that you can actually install it on your production system. And that's exactly what we're going to do today with you. So I'm going to show you how you can get this Tetris game inside your Zabbix and surprise your colleagues with this stuff. So let's close this example. What we will going to need is uh, the good old wiki page from uh, Initmax. And here we need to navigate to eShop, then to the widgets, and then the first option is a Tetris Max game, which has a description about a classic Tetris gameplay, score tracking, email notification, uh, seamless integration, keyboard control, so everything is like easy, you can just play it, and here are some GIF example of how it uh, looks like the scoring, so you can even have some competition with your colleagues. And if we talk about installation, um, most important thing is like it's free you need to scroll down there's going to be the blue get widget requirements don't skip these don't miss these settings supported zabbix version is 7.0 only and the minimal supported php version is 8.0 but i think all of you guys with a zabbix 7.0 are gonna meet these requirements uh smash get widget uh, there's only one edition free smash on a download which is going to take you to uh git page um uh, yeah whatever remind me later and this is what we're gonna need so if we go back to tutorial back to the wiki what we're gonna do is we just need to open the place where your um zabbix is installed especially zabbix frontend not a zabbix server and we are gonna need to navigate to user share zabbix and modules modules here we go so this is directory where you can place all of your custom modules and custom widgets i already have here a chat gpd example from a previous videos and also the header max widget so when you are here it's just a matter of cloning repository and actually as you can see like it's not even necessary to go this get widget and access uh, uh, this git page uh, we can just copy paste line from here so smash clone and go back to your uh, linux cli which is wsl2 in my case uh, do the git clone here and voila so right now we have a new folder uh this third third folder is uh, zabbix ui widgets mindmax game interesting this is wrong url right let me no no guys we need to do this uh sorry not the history go back code clone i'm kind of sure uh go here and again type git clone and copy paste the correct url yeah this one is correct but we have an issue permission denied public key i think it's gonna be fine with uh, https let's try git clone this cloning resolving done yes right now we have four directories so we have a tetris max and we have a mind max which is something else i don't know if that's for this video we can actually check so when we have this repository cloned the only thing that we need is to open our zabbix uh dashboard and to do that just copy your url or you know better in what ip your zabbix is accessible uh, here is our good old uh chat gpt but uh, before we actually create a widget, we need to go administration, general, and modules, smash scan directory here. We'll have two new modules available. Uh, one is called header max. Interesting. Okay. Uh, classic Minesweeper game for the Zabbix and most famous Tetris game for your dashboard. So let's enable all of them. Enable, enable. Uh, header max we can leave it so go back to dashboard all dashboard i'm going to create new uh call it time to play games apply and just create a widget and the widget is going to be called tetris max name whatever you can call it and uh save changes 
Okay, guys, I've actually found the issue. Remember in the beginning, we talked that the, from the requirements, there's the Zabbix version 7.0 and the minimal supported PHP version 8.0. Not true. Minimal supported version is PHP 8.1. And at the moment, this video is going to be released, which is going to be in a couple of days. I think the information here will be already fixed. So if you're fo following from the beginning, just make sure that your PHP version is at least 8.1. If it's newer, that's fine. Uh, so then we go back to the dashboards, we go to whatever, let's create a new dashboard. Uh, time to play games. Uh, let's go like this with PHP 8.1. Click apply, create a new widget, choose a Tetris Max, click add, and there you go. Just click play. Uh, you'll probably have to tinker around a bit with the, with, with the size save changes play and there we go it's time to play the game so let me know in the comments what is your high score on this